Hi guys, happy Halloween. So I wanted to do a video that kind of got up close and personal with you guys, but um, it's something that I experienced in the last few days and I just wanted to share it. And I figured that if I was going through it, then maybe you guys have gone through it before as well. But um, I was driving home yesterday and I felt kind of sad because I was just thinking about certain things in my life that um, I was trying to change and trying to move towards and felt like there's a lot of opposition in there and I was thinking about um, just a lot of stuff that's been going on and the song comes on the radio and it's by Francesca Bottastelli, I think that's how you say her last name, um, it's called He Knows My Name and I'll actually um, say the lyrics for you guys real quick so you get it. It says, spent today in a conversation in the mirror face to face with somebody less than perfect. I wouldn't choose me first if I was looking for a champion. In fact, I'd understand if you picked everyone before me. But that's just not my story. True to who you are, you saw my heart and made something out of nothing. I don't need my name in lights. I'm famous in my father's eyes. Make no mistake, he knows my name. I'm not living for applause. I'm already so adored. It's all his stage. He knows my name. And it says, I'm not meant to stay quiet. I'm meant to be a lion. I'll roar beyond a song. With every moment that I've got, true to who you are, you saw my heart and made something out of nothing. He calls me chosen, free forgiven, wanted, child of the king, his forever, held in treasure, I am loved. I don't need my name in lights. I'm famous in my father's eyes. And that song just kind of hit me because it's just something that I've been going through lately. And it kind of made me think about how we spend a lot of our days just living and going through life as kind of like a routine and we we go through it like like it's clockwork like we don't really think about it and before you know it like we're always saying like oh I can't believe it's this month or I can't believe that all this time has passed and I think we spend so much time either trying to make a living or spend so much time just anticipating the next thing that we're supposed to doing that we're supposed to be getting to or we're supposed to be doing and we kind of lose sight of the fact that we're living now and we forget to live in itself in the moments and um in doing so i think i'm going to probably going to be touching on a lot of different things but it, it kind of spirals into us feeling like we are supposed to be doing this all on our own like we have to keep trying harder to get to the next thing to try to get promoted to try to make more money to try to just get to that higher place where we think we're going to be even happier than where we are now um and it kind of got me thinking about how we always feel like we also have to do that stuff to feel like we're enough to feel like we have validation to feel like we were okay and we have to kind of show the world that we're okay and that the world won't be accepting of us if we show that we're vulnerable or we show that we have weaknesses or we show that maybe we're not 100% confident all the time. And um, I guess, um, well, perfect for my outfit today as far as, you know, feminism and um, women empowerment. I think in particular being a woman, I think we tend to subconsciously or consciously we tend to compete with one another and we fall into this trap of of trying to fill a void and um, I guess for most young women especially when Halloween comes around you'll see a lot of women like in skimpy outfits like who would be wearing next to nothing and you see these guys like looking at them and I guess they they feel validated because of that attention and we can sit here and be like, well, why is that girl dressed like that? Like, we can judge them for it. But I think there's so much more going on beneath the surface that people don't really talk about. And um, I think that a lot of women just, either they're mistreated when they're younger or um, they come from just broken and, like, bad relationships or... Um, they just never really grew up with a lot of self-esteem and you, you find yourself kind of in a position where um, you're trying to get all of this attention and I just 
for those of you who have ever felt like you aren't enough or you've ever felt like um, nobody cares or you feel like you're just in this place where you don't know what to do um, there's there's a God out there who Jesus who just is crying out for you to notice him and um, for me in particular I think um, I've spent so much of my life just trying to um, be at peace, I guess, with myself, with a lot of stuff that I went through, um, feeling like growing up I didn't feel like I was enough. Just being in bad relationships with, um, with other men and just not being respected the way I should have. And, and lately I think God's just really revealing to me that there's just so much um, love from him. And on the days where I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not enough or feeling like um, I have to do more to, to feel like I'm enough in this world, I, I often hear him now saying um, that I don't have to do those things. It's okay to have that void because that's, that's where Jesus fills it and that's his place in your life. I mean, if we if we walked around all the time feeling like we were complete, there would be no role for him. There'd be there'd be no opening for him to come in and mend those broken places in our lives. And for those of you who feel like um, you're not getting the attention or love from whoever it is that you want, like I just want you to know that you have God's full attention. To know that you have a father who who loves you wholeheartedly and. He just wants you to come to him, for him to embrace you. I just think that's the point of not worrying about how we're not good enough or something because we all have things that, are, that we're good at and we have things that we need help with. And I think that's the point of also relating with other people is that whether you're in a relationship or maybe it's just your friends, but you have somebody there who who compliments you, who who is good at something and maybe you're better at something that they're not and that's the whole point of being in relationship with people is that we have that kind of um, camaraderie where we can be in that place and we can also build each other up so instead of competing with somebody or trying to be better than them um, we should be helping one another and this is particularly true for women I think there's more women empowerment in trying to help one another than trying to compare ourselves and trying to make ourselves like the person that gets the most attention or the person who everybody loves or who everybody just wants to be around. I think that we all have different skill sets and different things about us that make us so uniquely special. And you know, if you're ever in a place where you're you just feel like you're not enough. I just want you to know that you are because there are so many things about yourself that you may not even know that people can point out for you and we spend so much of our lives kind of blowing up and focusing so much on the things that we're not good at. We're, we're constantly trying to get better at those things and while that's a great thing, we don't emphasize enough on the things that we're good at. We don't. Um, I guess even in like an Asian culture, we we tend to down ourselves because it's it's not appropriate for us to um, talk about the things that we're good at because it's almost like it's boasting and in the culture it's almost looked frowned upon to say good things about yourself because it's it's seen as well um, you're not humble, but I think. God intentionally made us to be good at certain things and not so great at certain things so that he could fill the void and also have people come into our lives to um, make those things, um, enhance those things and make us better. Um, if we were all made perfect, we wouldn't need one another. All of us would be unnecessary to one another and we wouldn't affect each other the same way. So um, for anybody else who's ever been going through something where you feel like you um, are missing something or you just have days where you're just so down where you feel like your life is just in pieces. I just want you to know that you're loved and you're wanted and that you were made with intent 
and there's nothing about you that Jesus would change. There's not, he, he intentionally made you the way that you are. And um, whatever shortcomings you have, whatever weaknesses you feel like you can't get over, or anything that you're struggling with, and in spite of all those things, you're loved completely and wholly and just um, without reservation from him. I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I just want to encourage you guys to reach out to people. Um, I think we we tend to want to hide so much of our lives that aren't so great because, you know, with social media, especially Facebook, like you see people always posting things that are like so happy and great, but, um, you know, at home, like we're all struggling with something. And to be open about it and to share with other people, that's what brings you guys closer and that's how we help one another is that we bring it to somebody and maybe they have something that can help you with and you can help them with something and that's how you grow and that's how you better each other's lives and I think um, that's the point of it all. God knows exactly who you are, where you've been, what you struggle with, the things that you try to hide from other people. He knows all of that stuff. Will we own what kind of job we have, how much money we have, what people think of us. Um, all of that stuff is not how we get validated. It's not, it's never enough. And you read um, stories about celebrities who've had almost like it seems like they've had everything and they end up committing suicide. Um, there's just a void that a lot of us have that we don't talk about, that we try to hide and put away, or um, it's kind of like we almost sometimes even in denial about a lot of the stuff that are bothering us and we kind of push that aside and just keep living life we keep striving for what for for status for what people will think of us because of what we wear what kind of job we have or um all the things that eventually run dry all the things that eventually lose their value i just want you to know that regardless of whether or not you get that Kate Spade purse, or buy that BMW, or um, get that new promotion that you want, that you're still okay, and that you're enough without that, and you're you're loved beyond words. And I think we have trouble also understanding how much God really actually loves us, because if we did, I don't think we would be acting the way that we do. I think we would be thinking differently. I think we would act differently. I think we would treat other people differently if we really understood how much our father loved us. I guess we're forgetful, so you know, one day we'll feel like Im immense like love from him, and then the next day, like we'll kind of feel like, well, Jesus, where are you? You've kind of left me out here, like alone. And I guess to understand the gravity of how much love he really does have for each and every one of us, and that he didn't create us to be perfect. That that was the whole point. That we don't have to put up a facade for people and pretend like everything's okay when it's not. And for me, I guess it's been a process of just learning how much God really does love me and how I don't have to keep trying so hard to um, be a certain way because he loves me exactly the way that I am now. And also that I don't have to pretend to be something just because I want somebody else to like me. So I hope this video helps anyone who's going through something right now or you feel down some days and you kind of reflect on your life and you feel like um, you're not enough. Um, I just want you to know that you are. And, and if you feel like nobody cares, I just want you to know that Jesus does. And he loves you so, so much. Just remember that um, you don't have to change anything about yourself. You don't have to be different. Um, you just have to come as you are. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I don't need my name.